I'm going to show you everything that's in my helium miner antenna setup and how much it costs. A lot of the videos on the internet are too long, too wordy. You don't have time for that. I'm going to cut to the chase and just tell you right now how to make a really nice setup for about $200 to $225. So here we go. So we're going to start from the top. The first thing that I include in my setup is the antenna. And this is the most important part of the setup. Now, you don't need to overcomplicate it. Choosing a higher DBI antenna doesn't ensure that you're going to outperform somebody next to you. A lot of it goes based on geography. So if you're downtown in a highly dense populated area with a lot of hotspots, you're going to want a lower DBI antenna because it's going to hit all the hotspots around you. Whereas if you had a higher DBI antenna, you'd probably overshoot a lot of these. The visual that I have below is really good. It shows why using a high DBI antenna sometimes isn't the greatest idea. Um, I know personally, I stick to about 5.8. I haven't found a reason to go above a 5.8. Most, if not all of my hotspots are in a suburban area though. Now, if you're in more of a rural area, you might wanna try using an eight to 10 DBI, maybe even higher if the hotspots around you are far enough away and you can get a high enough signal that uh, it makes sense for you. But from my personal experience, especially in a suburban area, I'm keeping it to about a four to 5.8 DBI antenna. A good Roklin or Signal Plus antenna shouldn't cost you any more than 50 to $70. The key is to get these antennas up high. You wanna get them as high as possible. Getting your antenna up high is what's gonna separate you from the surrounding hotspots. And I guarantee you that most hotspots in your neighborhood are not gonna have the same setup that I'm about to show you today. Now, the next thing that I'm about to show you is the second piece in the setup. It's the lightning protector. That's all we really need to touch on. This piece is about $20. You can buy this on Rokeland. You can buy this off of Amazon as well. I'll keep links for both of those, but it should cost you no more than about 20 to $25. And all it is is if your antenna gets struck by lightning, it helps protect your house from potential electricity fires. The third and fourth pieces of our setup are electrical conduit, which is literally just a big pole, a big metal pole, and a tripod. Now I like to use a three foot satellite tripod because it works really nicely. It's pretty easy to install on the roof of the house and it'll really set you up to get your signal nice and high and push it out to other hotspots in the area. The tripod that I've installed six times now is right here in the link below on Amazon and I got it for 49 something. Just one other thing, if you're gonna be screwing into your roof Go up there with some caulk or a patch kit just to help prevent against any kind of water damage. Now really pay attention here. So when it comes to cables, you don't want to typically use the stock cable that comes with your antenna. You want to find a better cable. Roklin cables are the best. You want to use a thicker coaxial cable. You want to use something that's going to eliminate as much signal loss as possible. And so the LMR 400 seems to be what most people go with. It's a thicker cable. It's kind of hard to work with, but Roklin also has a more flexible version of this, but it's going to really help prevent signal loss. And that's what we want. We want our antenna pushing out a nice strong signal so that we reach as many helium hotspots as we can around us. And finally, the last part of our setup is the miner itself. Um, I know people say that the miners don't matter as much, that they all kind of perform the same way. Um, I've only used two different kinds. I've used the Helium Bobcat Miner, and I've used the uh, Sense, Sense Cat Miner. Um, so far, I think the Helium Bobcat Miner is much easier to use than the Sense Cap. Um, in terms of, I haven't had any issues with the Helium Miners, and I've had nothing but issues with the Sense Cap Miner. That's just my personal encounter with the sense cap though. I have five bobcats up and running and just one sense cap.
Now, all in all, the setup that I just showed you is going to cost you about $200 to $225. It's well worth it if you're just trying to do some helium mining. I hope you find this video helpful. Um, what does the future hold for helium mining? I don't know. But the thing that draws me to it is that there's next to no power costs involved in it. Whereas most other mining processes used up a ton of energy. Uh, helium you can mine for cheap and if the price goes down, it really doesn't matter. I just have an antenna on my house with a router that's using 5 watts of energy. So it costs me nothing. I plan on selling some of the helium, getting my initial investment out, and just letting the rest ride. And then we'll see what the future holds for helium. I hope you found this video helpful. I look forward to making more investment videos for you guys. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.